What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to another vlog. And uh, I'm just here getting stuff cleaned up from the last couple of trips. It's just like chaos around here at the shop. Uh, we just get in a ton of new camping gear from Thermarest and MSR. Tents, uh, sleeping pads, fuel, all kinds of stuff. It'll be up on our website to rent and to buy. Or if you want to rent to buy, uh, that's going to be available starting in May. I just haven't gotten it ready on the website. I'm also packing for a trip heading to Newfoundland. We're heading on the ferry tonight going for the next couple days. But this vlog is not about Newfoundland. This vlog is about a trip that I did a couple weeks ago. Um, if you've seen Dave, Davian Sky's video uh, that they put up, I think yesterday or the day before, you'll know that only half of us made it through uh, the trip. Uh, I filmed a little bit of what we did, but I kind of wanted to use this vlog and talk about kind of knowing your boundaries and some lessons learned uh, that I've learned over the years of running this business and guiding and living in the Cape Breton Highlands and just some things maybe that will help you out in your journey into getting into more advanced hiking and backcountry stuff. So uh, yeah, follow along this vlog and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, which might be, might be a little Newfoundland trip. I don't know. Anyways, see ya. We're at the hostel. What's up? <laughs> That's a great, that was a great so first tired. draft. That was a great okay. first draft. We're, We're here at the hostel. Hey. Here with the crew. Hey. Heading out on Seawall, modified Seawall. We're going to be back here on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> Have fun, guys. We'll yeah. see ya. Yeah. Just getting to Cape St. Lawrence on the kind of part of the Seawall Trail. There's no snow out here. It's all rock. Taking a coastal route and uh, heading in Lowland Cove. Oh. So it's pretty wild. A couple minutes ago, we were uh, in about two feet of snow. And then here on the coast, it is quite barren, but it's neat. When you look back in the mountains, the coastline's all stripped down, but the tops of the trees way back, is, uh, it's all like frosty white. So it's a pretty cool contrast to see. Okay, so it's before Lowland Cove and you can see uh, Ship Mountain from here. Now look, right there. Here at Lowland Brook, and we are just crossing the brook is actually frozen. So first water crossing and we don't have to get our feet wet. Thanks. The section in between, uh, the last section right before Sailor Brook um, is always tricky one because a step off the trail if you're not following the right trail you go right down into Tuckamore and rock faces and stuff so in the winter it's even harder to uh to navigate and we just kind of got turned around and had a backtrack and come up the hill and welcome to Sailor Brook how are you feeling I'm feeling accomplished actually no other call the Sailor Brook what's that no other call the Sailor Brook what? because the sailor got marooned here huh. and had a hike out from here to Shetty Camp in the winter. Well, I feel like that's our situation right now. <laughs> At least we have noodles. Made it, Sailor Brook. Brook. <laughs> Not a sailor. Used to be a sailor. Mountain. Shit mountain. <laughs> right there. It's uh, 7 a.m. and uh, you can still see the moon out right there. A little coffee, a little view of the valley. Uh, we're getting ready to leave camp. We're at Sailor Brook 
and we got into camp last night around something around like 4 30 or something and just kind of hung out and we we're popping up a bunch of new gear i had that new uh kind of i think it's called the uh, front range little camp shelter um we should have had that on the highlands trip but yeah we made good time we came in uh through lowland cove head north and um at our normal campsite here at Sailor Brook and the sun's just coming up over the mountain. The moon was out all morning, beautiful morning. Um, yeah, everybody did really well yesterday. Uh, we had one struggler. Yeah, we're gonna try to get him through his next climb, which is kind of eating at his, it's kind of eating at him uh, mentally, uh, looking at this mountain and seeing how high we're gonna climb um, and seeing the ice on the side of it. But uh, we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of time uh, more than usual to try to get up this mountain and just kind of like take it by year. I mean, this trip is just kind of playing it by year. Um, there's no uh, no real plan, no real designated campsites like we would do this in the summer. We're just kind of going to go for it and see what it's like. But yeah, excited to try to get up this mountain and get that out of the way so we can just continue to see you all today. Five minutes later. Okay, so we have a slight development and uh, we are unfortunately having to call it quits here at Sailor Brooks and hike back to Meat Cove. Uh, and Ash, Dave, and Gord are continuing on without us. But um, anyways, we'll live to uh, talk another day. As y'all probably have figured out by now by watching this vlog is that we didn't actually finish the hike we set out to do, which is totally, totally fine. Sometimes things don't go as planned and uh, you gotta adjust. That's the only way around it. So I guess uh, what I wanted to take a minute on this vlog to talk about was some of the lessons I've learned and maybe extend some of that knowledge to anybody listening to help you out with your journey when it comes to doing any hiking or backcountry or anything uh, outdoor related. Now, one of the biggest things that I've learned over the years is that everybody has their own Everest. And what I mean by that is that everybody has their own limit that uh, they're willing to push themselves to. Um, and it takes consistent um, exercise of pushing that limit to gain a little bit more experience in doing whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's uh, backcountry hiking, camping, um, any sports, uh, paddling trips, whatever. It just takes time to build up the confidence and build up the experience needed. And the only way to do that is by going out and pushing that boundary and finding where your boundary is consistently trying to push through it, push a little bit further, coming back, reassessing, learning from that experience, and then you know, I kind of think of it also as a kind of like a video game, right? Where you're leveling up all the time. That's how I've always looked at things about leveling up. Not every single one of us grew up hiking in these woods or grew up on a canoe or whatever, right? We may have gotten into all of this stuff in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, so everybody is at their own, own kind of level. And with that, there's always going to be failure, but I, I kind of look at failure in a different sense, right? So this trip that we did, which was supposed to be a, you know, four to five day kind of seawall, part of seawall, and then coming up in Grace Hollow in Cape North, uh, which is in Northern Cape Breton, where if you've watched, or if you haven't, head over to Davian Sky's channel and check out their video because they completed this trip. But anyways, there's no failures. It's all just a learning lesson. So when you can rewire your brain to to not get down on not completing whatever it is that, that you set out to do, it is always a learning lesson. So you can always take something back and reassess and then go at it again and hopefully complete that goal the next time. But those are some of the, just the basic things that I want to talk about on this vlog. Okay, so the last thing I just wanna say is that if anybody watching this has any questions or wants any advice, feel free to reach out to us at any time. Comment on this vlog, DM us on Instagram, uh, Facebook, email us at info at livelivenets.com and I'd be happy to help and extend any information and advice. There's also a great resource uh, on Facebook if you join any of the Nova Scotia hiking groups or Whitewater Nova Scotia group. Any of those kind of Facebook online communities are a great resource to find like-minded people. Other than that, this is the end of this vlog. I just wanted to keep this short and sweet. I didn't want to blabber on too long. But anyways, I'll catch you on the next vlog. Thanks for watching. See ya.